So first, what are Myanmar's interests in being a member of ASEAN? Well, uh, the you know the we have a lot uh, in this uh, in this uh, organization. Also, this is an association of the uh, ten member country ASEAN. Yeah. And you know, if you look at uh, the uh, the current state of the association, in sense, uh, it is a combined population of six hundred fifty million people. Yeah. And you can imagine 650 million people, that is uh, the combined. And it is uh, the is combined GDP, so the, it is uh, around 3 uh, trillion US dollars, and making it uh, the organization as uh, the uh, fourth or fifth largest economy in the world. So being part of that. So if it is not your AC member, you can imagine that you have to work on your own. But once you have become, uh, you, you are part of the association, uh, you can move as uh, the part of the organizations. And uh, there are so many things uh, the, uh, you, know, you can offer as well as uh, you can benefit from being part of organizations. Okay. Is it possible to use the influence of ASEAN on its member states? And if so, can we say on the uh, basis, um, basis of concrete example uh, that ASEAN has uh, any influence on Myanmar? Well, uh, we can say that uh, the, you know, if you say that influence, so rather than influence, the influence, we can say ASEAN engagement. Engage. Right. Of course, uh, you know, uh, when you are part of the organizations, you have commitment. Yeah. You have rules uh, that you have the things to fulfill as a BM member. Uh, so we have a lot to do that. But uh, once you have uh, the uh, kind of uh, problem of challenges, and through the interaction with the other member countries, they can also help you. They can also uh, help in a constructive way. So rather than you know influence, you can say that uh, the it is. Uh, was supporting our engagement in a constructive. For instance, the people, when you, uh, I can also take this opportunity to issue, explain about uh, about the Rakhine issue. For instance, yeah. probably people tend to know Rakhine yeah. and the people who left uh, this uh, the place in the way uh, they see or maybe they learn or they heard from the uh, uh, the APA, other international. Media give you so maybe it can be the one sided uh, the the uh, information. Mm -hmm. So through in the in uh, ASEANs, we explain what is really going on, mm -hmm. and then uh, what are the challenges we are going through. Mm -hmm. For instance, uh, our efforts for receiving people yeah. uh, the, to the resident they used to live, and then we explain uh, the uh, our efforts as well as uh, how we have prepared. Once they come back to their you know, original place, so we can also uh, explain this to the members countries. Mm -hmm. So they came and they see, oh, this is really Myanmar serious. So they are also willing to help. Yeah. All the ASEAN member countries are willing to help in, in kinds of the cash or in kinds of means. They are helping. So they engage. For instance, the Indonesia. Uh, they are building the uh, clinic and a school kind of place. So okay. this is the way we are getting engaged. So we can see that, you know, rather than influence, we can say that this is a kind of uh, constructive engagement. Okay. And on the country, what Myanmar can give to ASEAN to progress or? Well, you know, we can offer a lot. Yeah. For instance, uh, the, uh, if you look at the, uh, the, the geographic, uh, the location of the country. Yeah. Which is uh, the among ASEAN member countries, we are the only one which have a shared border with China yeah. to the our east or northeast, around uh, 2,200 kilometers. Yeah. And to the west, we are sharing border with India, which is also another more or less uh, 1,600 only, uh, yeah. Yeah. yes, 200, <laughs> uh, 2,000 kilometers. Yeah. So this is uh, the only country. 
But in the meantime, we also cannot do this Southeast Asia like that. Our neighbor, the brother, uh, the countries like that, Laos, Bidia, or Thailand. Yes. This is a very geographically uh, situation. So we can offer a lot. Mm -hmm. And also, we can, uh, it's a country of uh, 54 million people. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are also the second largest uh, the, uh, in terms of the area. So, its position in the geographical situation and also it is next to the uh, if you look at the, the China which is or the, the world number two uh, yeah. economy the largest economy yeah. and the India I think recently they are coming as a number uh, the seventh yes. largest yes. so we are just next to you know the, the two uh, one of the largest uh, economies in the world so these are the markets and these are markets so being, you know, access to markets, uh, we can also uh, how to offer our role as a church to the ASEAN member countries yeah. as well as those two countries. Okay. And also we have another country like still Bangladesh, it is also a huge uh, the market and so we can connect these okay. all other countries. Okay. Uh, does Myanmar have the most significant ally in ASEAN or not? Or well, you know, uh, we can uh, maybe if we can answer that. If you look at uh, our uh, the foreign policies, mm -hmm. uh, our foreign policies is also to establish friendly ties with all countries, particularly countries in the region and our neighboring countries. Mm -hmm. So we also, it is our best interest to maintain good ties and good relations with all the countries. Okay. So we. You cannot specify, oh, this is a very strategic, only specific uh, device that we establish when one particular country, just we cannot say that. We, you know, we value our relations, all the member countries say equal. Okay. Uh, how do Myanmar people perceive uh, Myanmar being part of ASEAN? Well, that is a very, you know, uh, very important, a very, uh, the very good questions. Yeah. Well, then it's uh, how Myanmar people see it is, but for uh, for them to see it, you know, ably, I mean, uh, uh, clearly and ably, uh, it is our job. I mean, as uh, the job of the diplomats, job of the government, to you know, to provide that information yeah. so that it, oh, this we are part of the ASEANs, and this is also in our benefit to be part of that. So. Yeah. It's a, they, they, this is the way they have to see it. And they, it is for us to make that, you know, give relevant information. Yeah. Well, these are the, the uh, being part of this organization. Uh, we are also, you know, enjoying this kind of benefits. So then uh, they, will, they will share the same views with us. So it is, is it, uh, the part of uh, the government jobs to, you know, provide information to the people so that they see better, you know, the, uh, uh, they have a better understanding of the organizations. Yeah, okay, I see. Um, so what interests uh, remain uh, to remain a member of ASEAN does Myanmar have? Like, uh, will, do you think it will perish in, in the year, like, perceived in the year? Bigger? We, no, <laughs> we, uh, in fact, uh, the Myanmar, uh, the ASEAN has split in 1967, yeah. and we became a member uh, only in 1997. So uh, we be we joined the organization because uh, you know because uh, we believe in its strength. Yeah. Right. It is if you are individual country just by your own. And for instance, the uh, countries like France, you have your own strength, and you also be part of the. Uh, UN and Security Council member, that is, you have your strength. But in countries like us, so if it is uh, the, if combined, as I mentioned earlier, it is a huge, you know, the, uh, I mean, population, 650 is a combined. So it is, when you are acting as uh, the one voice, you are acting as uh, the uh, one force, then uh, that is, you, you feel you are, you are a part of that organization. It is your strength. Yeah. And then, if you look at it, you know, I can give another. Uh, the, I can give an example. Well, the ASEAN is not just by itself. Yeah. It has uh, the dialogue partners. For instance, the China, Japan, Korea. So they are the part of uh, the ASEAN. So we call ASEAN Plus yeah. the arrangement. 
Uh, if you look at it, the uh, beyond this China, Japan, Korea, if you, uh, we have uh, the EES, which is called the East Asia the, uh, Summit. So EES also the, the, uh, is kind of, uh, uh, the, it's not, we, uh, we can see organized, it is arrangement of the 18, uh, 18 countries, yeah. ASEAN 10 plus, uh, the countries like China, Japan, Korea, and India. As well as New Zealand and uh, Australia, whereas uh, the United States and uh, the Russian Federation, they are part of this EES. So that means uh, they also we always uh, place uh, the importance on the ASEAN centralities. So ASEAN uh, in the center. So they they can you know uh, they can get uh, they can have kind of uh, the strategy arrange the meetings uh, with us. So, for instance, the week you have an ES summit, it is mostly in the ASEAN. Always, all the leaders from the United States, or maybe the Russian Federation, and even the China, Japan, they always come to you know, take bodies, have a deep, uh, the views, the extreme views. So, this is also being part of the ASEAN. Right. So, it is not individual countries to have this kind of uh, leaders in your place. And, uh, have a kind of discussion, but you being part of ASEAN, you can do that. Okay. Do you have any more information to give us, or especially on this subject? Well, you know, the uh, as I mentioned earlier, the, the uh, we we uh, have fit in ASEAN. So ASEAN, uh, well, we can do you know a lot uh, being part of ASEAN. Of mm -hmm. course, uh, when we have uh, the challenges, difficulty. Mm -hmm. We can you know, explain them in a very uh, open manner, mm -hmm. and they can also get engaged with the constructive manner. In the in the meantime, we have obligations, you know, integrations. So if you look at the ASEAN, so ASEAN is a quite a, you know a little a, a diverse in terms of the development. And ASEAN original the original ASEAN member countries uh, five, and later on you know Brunei and ASEAN six, and then to the Vietnam and Myanmar, Laos, and later on the, the Cambodia. But if you look at the, the, through the, this IEI block, the, the arrangement, you know, the as, as integration process, Vietnam, for instance, it is advancing so fast. Right, so it's, uh, we, if you look at ASEAN, they, they have arrangement like ASEAN, ASEAN 6, and a CLMB, then there's no longer CLMB. Yeah. And uh, just uh, Vietnam is uh, you know, part of this, uh, the AS, ASEAN 6. This is uh, I'm telling uh, through the, uh, uh, the uh, my last experience in the meeting of the OECD. So they categorize uh, the uh, Vietnam no longer as CLMB. So just uh, ASEAN plus uh, Vietnam plus CL, CLM, including uh, the Cambodia, Laos, and Myanmar. So it is our duty that uh, we can be part of uh, the. We have to expedite the process of the integration so we can also be in the same level of the development with the other and the ASEAN member countries. We have to do that, that we have this kind of aspiration. But it is not just by our, you know, the government, it is also the people who have to understand we have this kind of aspiration, we have to work together. So through the government initiatives, uh, we, I think uh, we will definitely uh, uh, get this kind of, the, of the, uh, our aim being part of the uh, integrated ASEAN and other countries. Okay. So we definitely fulfill our responsibility. Thank you very much. I think that's all for me. Oh. It's good with you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I don't have to, uh, nothing to ask anymore. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm well, also always very pleasure to receive it. <laughs> Thank you very much. It was a great pleasure to interview you and thank you very much for coming us in your really busy planning and trip. Hopefully I can uh, give you the all the answers. Uh, well, you answer all the yeah. questions. So. <laughs> so but I'm reading a lot yeah, these days uh, because uh, we, we have a kind of uh, interactions with yeah. the uh, friends and advisors these days and we talk so much about uh, ASEAN. Yeah. But we, I mean, we are not just uh, not just ASEAN, yeah. and uh, we here we are as a bilateral business. We have a lot to do, yeah. you know. So if I message, you know, convey to the people of France, uh, I'll also appreciate that they, they should know more about us. Yeah. 
Uh, people talk really about that. Oh, you don't, they don't know that much about the ASEAN or maybe in, in, even individual countries. But we have so much to offer. First, if you look at that uh, picture, yeah. the two things I have to tell. First of all, it is not a picture. Now, it is it's a, it's a, uh, the handicraft. Okay. Handicraft put, you know, all the jewels. The, okay. yeah. So, I mean, we have uh, different types of jewels, maybe. Jades or maybe uh, rubies. They put it, uh, they, not of course precious, but you know, a certain level of precious that they put it there. So this is a way of creation. That, that is the first kind of uh, uh, the handicraft. Is Second thing is that is bagan. Bagan, yeah, right. So bagan, you know, if you go there, or if anyone has been there, uh, you know, it is a city which is used to be the whole capital. Yeah. And all, you can see this kind of pagodas or stupas or temples, more than 3,500 plus plus at one single place, just one city. Yeah. So th that is Pagan. So we can have a lot to offer in, in terms of the, the cultural and the, the heritage sites. So we can. Yeah, Pagan uh, became uh, UNESCO. Yes, yeah, so, yes. Uh, right. I, I, you know, the last year uh, we yeah. were in Ulaanbaatar and I gave a speech yeah. after it was recognized in the, uh, the second piece from. Yeah. But still, we have to do a lot. The only second uh, piece from Myanmar. So we have so many things to offer. Yeah. But people don't know that much. When you look at Myanmar, uh, through Google or the internet, oh, this is a country you know, which uh, have maybe kinds of uh, human rights issues, but it is, uh, you, know, you cannot see only one perspective. Overall, it's a very peaceful. People are very helpful and they're willing to engage and they're willing to help. So when you uh, get there by yourself, oh, this is totally different from what you have. Of course, we have difficulties, yeah. and then we, you know, we are trying to address this difficulty. This difficulty is through the understanding of the countries, which have a better understanding. That is our request. That's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're most welcome. Thank, Thank you, you for coming. <laughs>